to see how they grow. So they send down, send down little shoots into the ground. There are three small peanuts. These ones actually aren't so bad. Okay, so now to make peanut butter. Another day on the wilderness side. These goats. <laughs> okay. So today is the day that we are going to harvest our peanut plants. Now, what the hard part is going to be is deciding just how big of a container I need. I'm thinking maybe this. We got a bunch of different seeds, I think three different varieties from Baker's Seeds, and we planted them in three different raised beds. Well, I would really, really like it if our harvest was something like this, because then I could make peanut butter and just have peanuts around, but I'm assuming our harvest is going to be something more like this, and that harvest is not going to be really useful at all for anything. So this is what our peanut plants turned out to be. They're all dying back now, so definitely time to harvest. There's some weeds in there that are still green. They're about maybe 10 inches tall. They started getting frost burn or maybe some problems with the sun early on, maybe it was problems with the soil. So I am not actually expecting to get much out of here and anything we do get, I actually do not think will be ripe. What do you think, Dave? I don't know. I wanted peanut butter. I came down to get some peanut butter for my crackers. Okay, let's get picking then. Okay. Let's check it out. Moment of truth. Yeah, there's a peanut. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of peanut butter from that. Oh, another little guy. So it is the last day of September. This is not going to turn into a peanut. Um, so yeah, that is a fail in terms of peanutness. Oh. That one actually looks like a peanut. And there's another little guy beside him. Soil looks nice. Oh, look at that. Another larger peanut looking shape. A bunch of almost peanuts. worm on that one. Look at that. And a peanut. Two guys on that one. actually better than I thought it would be. So it's kind of cool to see how they grow. So they send down, send down little shoots into the ground off the main stem here, which develop into the peanuts. The green stuff at the top, you can actually feed that to your, your goats, your livestock. It's a high protein, well, before it goes all brown like this, it's a high protein feed for them. So they'll be getting some of these green guys. So there is one bed with a couple of peanuts grown, but nothing really looks like it's probably viable. We have two more beds to go. First one, this bed. Something that looks like a peanut. Two on that one. So I would say to start, based on how much grew, only about half of our seeds in the, germinated in the first place. They grew very stunted. They had 
got burn marks basically on the foliage pretty early. So either something to do with nutrients in the soil or the sun, the heat. We, they got hit by a, a frost, in a really late frost in the year in early June when they first popped up. So that's most likely what caused all these issues. Just paint on that one. Okay, so now to make peanut butter. How about we look in one of those peanuts and see what they turned out to be? Okay, so this is the biggest one that I harvest. Looks like it was trying to be three, three peanuts in this shell. Let's give her a crack. Okay, so there are three small peanuts. These ones actually aren't so bad. They are, yeah. So ideally we would dry these and then we'd have peanuts. So look at that. I'd say two out of three of these don't look so bad. Maybe it might be worthwhile to save the rest of them to try to get seeds so we can maybe get some peanuts next year. Here's one of the smaller pods. And those peanuts, definitely not ready to harvest. So this is our first peanut harvest. Amazing, isn't it? So that was about mm, maybe 10 peanuts that are possibly viable. Not enough to make peanut butter, that's for sure. But we like to share with you both our successes and our failures on this channel because maybe we can learn together and possibly do better next year. This is not gonna stop us from uh, harvesting peanuts or trying to grow peanuts again. But next time, I think I'm going to start them earlier. I am going to start them in pots and so I can move them around and also so I can move them into the greenhouse so I can have a longer growing season. So now the important question, eat those 10 peanuts or save them as seeds for next year? It's the last day of September. And I already have my toque on and the goats are squawking. That's because there is very cold weather coming and the possibility of snow. So that means we have to deal with the squash and the potatoes and the pumpkins before everything freezes solid and becomes a winter wonderland here. So we'll see you in the next video when we do that.